Having looked at the effect of Pentecost on the apostles, but also on people around them, what is the effect on us here today, in our lives daily, realistically, practically? At the end of chapter 2, in verse 46, we read, So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart, praising God and having favor with all people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were saved. God, our God, is not a God of 2,000 years ago. He is a God of now. He is a God of always. He is eternal. And so as he invited all then on that day, he invites all today. And he invites them through us. If our witness is powerful, then people will listen to us. If we want to change the world, he will change it through us. Let's be careful here. We do not change. It is him within us who changes. Because if we take that privilege and feel that we are responsible, then we can become arrogant and lose sight that we are stewards of the all-powerful God. Pentecost is something that must affect us individually. So as we come to that day, the commemoration of the descent of the Holy Spirit, and realize he is in us, let us allow him to work through us individually. Not be an obstacle to him, but be malleable and flexible in his hand. Be a vessel that allows him to shine and to move through us. That as that power of his presence changed not only 3,000 people, but the world 2,000 years ago, that we today can be a source of change and a source of grace that comes into a world that is very much in need of it. I am Bishop Angelus.